Mark, first live action this spring, just want to ask you uh, how it was. Obviously, the quarterbacks weren't live, but how you felt the line played in particular? Um, I was kind of disappointed. I didn't think we played as well as we needed to, or as well as we were able to play. It's still early. We still got a couple of scrimmages left. There was some good things, but there was also some bad mistakes that need to be corrected, and we'll correct those next week. Having Davis out there, how do you see uh, Lawrence Martin and the other guys did fall in for him? Um, I think they did all right, but just overall, I just thought that we weren't all together on the same page. It was kind of it was just kind of disappointing. Coach Shankwall had said it. There were some really good things and there were some bad things, but I think the effort was there. It's just it seems like we couldn't really get in a good rhythm. Is that sort of par for the course at this point of the, the spring, or you, you, you expected better at this point? Um, I thought we were going to have a more consistent day overall. I mean, there were some real nice throws that we did, but then like consistently in the running game, it seemed like we couldn't get much a lot of things going. I'm not sure exactly what the problem was. It seemed like later on towards like the goal line, towards the end of practice, things things picked up and did a little bit better, but we have to get better next week. On the goal line, I mean, you had, I think, three or four different running backs scored, it looked like. Yeah, that was that was a little, that was a up. We felt good about that, and um, I think guys took it on their shoulders to want to get it in the end zone, and we were able to do that. Mark, if you can just take a step back and talk about the line in general, how you feel like these first two weeks have gone for you guys? Um, I think everyone's gotten better since the first day. We still have a ways to go. But a lot of guys are coming along. Daryl behind me, and Damian next to me, and Austin Ryder's doing very well. Everyone comes to work really well. The attitude's there. It's just um, we all got to get on the same page. I think the defense was a little pumped up today. Yeah, they were getting after it very well. They were playing with a lot of effort. Um, we, had, we were trying to match their attention. It just seemed like the whole day we were just in a slump on the offensive side of the ball. But they're a very talented defense. The defensive line's talented. Our linebackers are very talented as well. Austin has been singled out by a few coaches throughout the spring. I mean, what is it about him that, that catches your eye and kind of has allowed him to get a foothold here? He plays a really good technique. For He's not really the biggest guy on our line, but he plays a really good technique. He's smart. He understands the offense relatively for only two years, two and a half years of being here. My roommate also, so I have a good relationship with him. But he's a really good guy. He's a clean-cut guy, and the coaches respect him a lot. Now, Damien came in with you. He moved up next to you. Is that kind of nice having him? Yeah, I enjoy it. It's a big void with Jeremiah gone because I didn't. He was, he was a good guy to have next to you. But Damien's doing very well as well. We just got to get on the same page and keep working on, on our report again. Mark, he's not on your side anymore, but, but Lawrence Martin, tell us what you've seen from him and what you like about him in these, these first couple. Uh, he plays really hard. Um, he's getting his technique better. He still has a lot to learn with Coach Shank Waller, learning his techniques and things, because obviously different coaches, uh, he, he was taught something else. He has a great attitude, though. He kind of came in this, this spring, and he's kind of blended in with everybody. He's just, he seemed like he's already was, like fit to be there.